Hello, welcome to the August Friday 10th, 2018 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from San Antonio, Texas. Well, it's Black Hat and DEF CON time again and with that we got new exploits against medical devices from Billy Rice and Jonathan Butts. Their latest target is the Carolink 2090 programmer. This is a device that doctors use in order to program pacemakers. Now, the weakness they're exploiting here is an insecure update vulnerability. What this means is that the update is downloaded via HTTP, not HTTPS, and the download itself is also not digitally signed, so it can easily be replaced with an arbitrary file. The two researchers demonstrated that a malicious firmware can be uploaded and as a result any pacemakers being programmed using the device that has this malicious firmware loaded will then be able to deliver life-threatening shocks via the pacemaker. So this is an exploit that will actually directly affect patient safety and of course the firmware could be tailored to for example target specific pacemakers and it will also allow for a wide range of possible attack scenarios here in how the pacemaker is exactly set up to then endanger the patient. The other vulnerability that they're discussing is a sort of an old favorite and that's Medtronic insulin pumps. Now these insulin pumps are usually implanted into the patient and they can be controlled wirelessly. In order to pull off this attack, they had to use a hack RF software defined radio. That's about a couple hundred dollar device and it can be used to take control off the insulin pump. And for example, set up the insulin pump to withhold the scheduled dose of insulin. However, a representative of Medtronic states that typically this remote function is not enabled on these pumps and also the particular pump that was tested here is an older model. And researchers at IBM's x have discovered a number of vulnerabilities in systems commonly associated with smart cities. Now, the systems they focused on are sensors that, for example, detect floods or radiation and the like. And this could lead to what these research call panic attacks. Now, if you think about it, a lot of these sensors are actually meant to alert the public of terrorist attacks. And often the purpose of a terrorist attack is to start a panic. So you may not actually have to set off a radiological device, but you could just trigger the sensors that issue an alert that one has been deployed. As one example, they point out the false missile alarm in Hawaii that led to some panic within the area of that particular alarm, in particular since this alarm was set off at a time when such an attack was somewhat considered plausible. On the other hand, they could also, of course, then disable these alerts to, for example, increase the impact of a natural event like, for example, a tsunami. And Kaspersky rolled out an update for its popular VPN client. Apparently, this VPN client has until recently leaked DNS requests. This is actually a fairly common problem with some VPN clients where while your IP traffic is encrypted, your system continues to use the local DNS server. With that, of course, any host name that you visit is advertised on the local network. Sadly, the researcher that found this vulnerability, Diraj Mishra, has not received any bug bounty from Kaspersky, even though he has reported this vulnerability via hacker one and finally a nice weekend read for the reverse analysts among the listeners malwarebytes has a nice write-up about the latest version of the osiris dropper this dropper apparently uses the double ganging technique that's where you sort of inject your process in an existing running process hasn't been used really that much, but it shows up occasionally. It's one of the more advanced techniques how you obfuscate and hide your malware from antivirus. 
Osiris is essentially sort of a newer version of what used to be known as Kronos. Well, and the zipped for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.